At the age of ten, one day after work, my mom came home and broke the news that she had been diagnosed with type two diabetes. I was so young and I could barely understand. So overwhelmed with this intense, raw fear, and that mere thought of my mother facing adversity with me being powerless was unbearable. The same deep-seated emotions transformed into a compass, compelling me to seek knowledge and empowerment. Fear became my fuel. It pushed me to aim for the pinnacle, to learn from the brightest minds. With that resolve, I chose to move across the world to the U.S. at the age of 18. Even I was barely speaking English. Even I have never left the country before. I remember countless nights immersing myself in the studies. Until the librarian gently reminded me of closing time at 2 a.m., and my favorite treasure was the Stanford Open courses. From human behavior biology to how to start a startup, I was hooked. Peter Thiel's "Competition is for Losers" was on repeat. It wasn't merely about mastering English; it was about soaking in every nugget of insight. That insatiable curiosity is what I bring to the role. Always eager to dive deeper and understand the nuances of every potential investment. Post graduation, I landed an internship in sales at Oracle, and often going to startup meetups after work. And with two others I met at the meetups, we launched our own venture in Los Angeles during the ICO boom. The goal: to craft impeccable fundraising and community building events, or as I like to call it, events as a service. We had little sleep. For us, the most important goal was to deliver exceptional experiences to clients, even on a limited budget. This hands-on experience with startups emphasized the importance of agility and rapid adaptation. In a mere of four months, we became the fastest-growing crypto community on the West Coast, and through collaborations with diverse clients, from Polkadot to Block Daemon to decentralized TV channels. I thrived in a dynamic startup environment and became increasingly captivated by the potential of breakthrough technologies to fuel positive global change. After relocating to Spain four years ago, my passion for community building persisted. The lockdown gave me the opportunity to start a YouTube channel where I interviewed peers and former clients in the crypto space. As the world opened up, invitations to crypto events as media partners streamed in, spanning across Europe. Whether it's in Malaga, Lisbon, Porto, Madrid, Berlin, or Milan, these opportunities didn't just lay the groundwork for networks, but enabled deep conversations and connections with the founders. In between hopping to various Web3 conferences, I pursued my MBA. Our final project, TFM, centered around a startup. With an innate drive, I steered my team, placing a significant emphasis on understanding our financials thoroughly. This dedicated approach was not in vain. We graduated with the best score in our class. Back in my university days, I found myself part of an investment club. The returns of my humble portfolio, which marginally surpassed the S&P 500, led to an unexpected lunch with none other than Warren Buffett. And one piece of wisdom he shared still echoes in my mind: It takes 10 years to build a reputation and just 10 seconds to destroy it. That was a profound reminder of the immeasurable importance of integrity. I've seen the real-world implications of this lesson. I collaborated with Solus, a pioneering metaverse gaming venture that secured a substantial 3.4 million investment from FTX. However, when FTX faced bankruptcy due to the improper use of customer funds, the ripple effect was catastrophic, causing market meltdown and the unfortunate discontinuation of Solus. It underscores the criticality of ethical choices in business. I would say it's my passion project, a YouTube channel which has over 200,000 views and 620 subscribers. This endeavor has honed my skills in authentic storytelling, and here's where it gets interesting for us. Beyond my responsibilities as an associate, I envision transitioning the founder series, which is currently written on Medium, into engaging video content. And this approach aligns with the thought leaders such as A16Z and Y Combinator. By doing so, we achieve a trifecta: 
Number one, establishing ourselves as a beacon of thought leadership in the VC space in the Iberian region, and number two, delivering enriched content to our target audience, and lastly, attracting a higher caliber of startup applications. And lastly, I want to acknowledge that I'm sending this application past the deadline. You might have hired somebody already, but I would like to propose to work for the first month for free. In this way, we can have the opportunity for both of us to get to know each other to see if we're a good fit. And again, this is Jazzy. I want to say thank you so much for taking your time watching this video essay. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much.